So I did notice uh, you don't have a refrigerator here. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> um, and it's a very conscious decision. No. Um, you figure that in a, in a household, about 80% of the electricity in the house is being used for cooling or heating. Mm -hmm. And so I'm against doing either of those. Now that gets into architecture in terms of wedding, you know, air conditioning and things. But let's talk about the refrigerator issue because since almost everyone has a refrigerator. Yeah. Uh, what I noticed was that people generally have a bigger refrigerator than they need. Than they need. Yeah, with stuff that sits in there forever. Exactly. How much of it are you really going to eat? Um, people also refrigerate things they don't need to refrigerate. Mm -hmm. For example, the whole reason we made cheese was to preserve milk. Right. Um, there's also other ways to keep things cool. Uh, we can build a root cellar, which I do need to build. Mm -hmm. Every degree you go down in temperature, your food's going to last longer. Mm -hmm. um, so there's a lot of alternatives. Uh, in this culture, for example, we don't refrigerate eggs mm -hmm. because our eggs aren't washed. They come from the chickens. Now, in an industrial system, people wash the eggs and that makes them more at risk of going bad, so it makes you need to put them in the refrigerator. Hmm. So, for people in normal society, they can think about scaling down the refrigerator, wondering why they're putting things in the refrigerator. Now, in my case, I decide no refrigeration at all. Mm -hmm. People say to me, how can you live without a refrigerator? Well, everybody a hundred years ago <laughs> used to live without a refrigerator. That's true. So we can do it. Yeah, and I mean, since I've been here, we've I've done it. It's kind of blown my 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 mind, you know. I mean, I've been here for what four days, and right. I've been eating every meal. And then, yeah, you think about it, like well, none of this food was refrigerated. And How did that work? And I will add to that that sure. that as we stop refrigerating, there's a lot of old technologies we can rediscover. Like fermentation is a way to preserve food. Mm -hmm. And so if we make something like kimchi or sauerkraut, mm -hmm. now we've got something that doesn't need to be refrigerated, also has all these probiotics and organisms in it mm -hmm. that are really good for us. Mm -hmm. So rediscovering these old ways is better for our health, uses less energy, and gives us all these new flavors. It's true.